teach you how to do a good salsa on two basic. I am Raul. And this is Sara. It's important that you understand why I should do a good basic on two. It's because uh, we have a lot of issues when we connect with a partner. There's not a lot of trouble if you are dancing alone because you can do whatever you want if you're stepping the right timing or if you are uh, like um, dancing a song and you want to just change the step, it's good. But the issue is when we are dancing together, okay? So we do a lot of mistakes that makes that our basic is not that clear for our leader or for our father. So we're gonna do first our basic always following the, the next rules. The number one, it should be short, okay? Look in the direction that I have to go in my one. The number two is gonna be long, and the number three is going to be out of the place, okay? So, if we repeat, we do five, six, seven, short, long, and place. And look, this is really important. When you are stepping your two in front or your six like a follower, in this, in this uh, time we are going to one, two, I have to have this contact with the floor that makes me connected and I have to return. So my two is like returning to my three. My two is looking for my three. So I cannot do like, just go or stay here and just stay. I have to go and go and go. So we're gonna go in five, six, seven basic. One, short, long, in place. And then number four is a pause, but we are Moving, 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 so do short in five, go six, forward, long, and seven is going in the center. So the most important thing is how I am stepping my weight. So look, it's really normal that when you're dancing on one and then you're trying to dance on two and you don't have a teacher or you just learn the social dance, you start doing your one more big than your two. You start doing your one more big than your two. So you can look this in the social dance. Six, seven, one, two, three. Like the ladies is like, whoo, like uh, waiting and boom. So we, uh, we do this too. Six, seven, one, like a big one. Because our brain, still connecting the number one more than our number two. So it's important that you understand how you are stepping and the timings that you are following. When we are dancing on two, our intentions goes more in the number two, number four, number six, and number eight of the song. And when we are dancing on one, our intentions goes in the in the quarter beat or in the one, three, five, and seven. So when we're dancing on two, I should keep my, my brain like one and two, three, five, six, seven. Like that in my brain, the time number two, number six, number four, number eight are more big or more clear. And then you can just uh, follow the instruments, but that's another, another thing. So you have to go one, two, three, five. Six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven, one. It's always little, for example, in the, in the cross bar it's always little. Two, three, five. And in the open break, I do short in five and long in six. So if we have a bad, a bad um, organization of our basic, the five is gonna be big, five, do the five big bad, five and the six little. Six, seven, so it looks like not good, like five, six, seven. So we are dancing like more in the one and more in the five. So that's important. I gotta, I gotta give you uh, an exercise in how I really understand it because in the first time I was dancing two in the one intention, but after I watched and I take a lot of classes, I understand that I should hear the music different. It's like having a different sheet, you know, it's like, okay, this is on two, and now I hear the song on two. So we, we hear the songs in different ways, so that's important. So how I did it is that I clap my contratempo. 
okay? Let's, let's talk about timing, is one, three, five, and seven, like the hard beats in the music, and the contratempos, the two, the four, the six, and the eight. So, how I start understanding this? I start clapping my contratempos, for example. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, Okay, so that's a good exercise you to get in the on two movement. If you're looking at this video, it's because you are changing from Cuban or from Casino or you're coming from Los Angeles on one to do Salsa New York or Salsa Puerto Rico. So it's, it's normal that you feel that your brain still thinking like one, two, three, five, six, seven. It's normal to see the people dancing like doing a big one and a, and a little two. So the brain is doing one, three, five, seven, and it's not thinking one, two, and five, and six, seven, or one, and two, three, five, and six, seven. This gives you another flow. So if you're a teacher, you have to practice, okay? If you're a student, you have to practice too, but if you're a teacher, more. Follow us in our social media and keep your dancing clean because clean is better always, okay? See you in the next video. La vida es como un pasaje de una canción que marea. Y aquí...